I am Lori and I love books and today I'm going to go over my recent reads. These are the books between April and July of 2022 and so the first books I read were on my tablet. Uh, Zen Bunnies Meditations for the Wise Minds of Bunny Lovers by Gautama Buddha and I read this for Easter. It was a very fun little book with lots of photographs of bunnies and Buddhist sayings. Um, and I gave this five stars. I really enjoyed it. The next uh, was actually a comic book called Cody by Jared Cullum. It said it was book one, but I haven't seen any more books added. Uh, but this was about a little girl who was spending the summer with her grandmother in Alaska. She befriends a bear and then she has to go back to Seattle and her bear friend misses her. And I gave this four stars. The... Um, Next one I did as a read along on YouTube with uh, or on here on YouTube with uh, Internet Grandpa. I'll try to put his link below. And uh, Phantom Tollbooth is by Norton Jester. Uh, it's one of my favorite books. I've uh, read the annotated Phantom Tollbooth, but this time I just wanted to try something different. So I uh, tried that and basically along the screen were the pages and then internet grandpa was reading and so you could see the illustrations as well and so i really enjoyed that way of reading a book um, and this is five stars um, the next books i read were marigold garden which i did already unhaul um, it's by kate greenway and uh, so i have a picture since i already unhauled it um, i gave it four stars but when i was like looking back through it there wasn't really anything I felt like I needed to save or keep. It didn't fit like, it didn't feel like I would ever read it again. So I did unhaul it. So probably if I scored it now, I probably would score it lower than four stars. But at the time it was four stars. So the next one was a picture book of The Secret Garden. Um, it's illustrated by uh, Adelina Lirius. Um, I, I love The Secret Garden which is a book by Frances Hodgson Burnett, uh, which is, this book is based on. But this, it, this version just, it lacked all the plot. It lacked all the conflict. So there didn't feel like any resolution. It just felt like pretty pictures with such a small amount of the story that it didn't feel like it was a story at all. So I did give this t uh, two stars which I think I might have been generous giving it two stars. But, I mean, it looks very pretty, but if you love the story, The Secret Garden, and the original book, I don't think you'll be a fan of this one, because I know I wasn't. Um, the next one is A Child's Garden of Verses by Robert Louis Stevenson. Um, this one I am going to save, because it is a classic as well. Um, I gave it... Uh, three and a half stars. Um, I might try it again and then decide if I want to keep it or not, but um, it, it's a fun little book. Um, a lot of it was uh, like poems for children, like My Bed is a Boat and uh, My Treasures. So um, I'll, try, I'll, I'll read it one more time and then decide if I want to keep it or not. Um, the next one is Hope for the Flowers, a tale partly about life, partly about revolution, and lots about hope for adults and others, including caterpillars who can read words and pictures by Trina Paulus. Um, so this is a story about two, uh, two little caterpillars that are trying to figure out how to rise above life to get to the next stage. And so at one point they're trying to climb up other caterpillars to get to the top to feel like they're succeeding um, and then they've heard about this magnificent thing called a butterfly and once he, uh, the one little caterpillar gets to the top he realizes that something and then more things happen and basically have to read the book to find out if he ever figures out how to become a butterfly but there were a lot of life lessons in this book and uh, I did give it four and a half stars um, and it is, um, a very, uh, easy book to read with, uh, big illustrations and then big 
letters and words. So I did enjoy the fact that it was um, a more simple book to read, but with a lot of impact. And then the last book I read that had to deal with flowers or gardens um, was Under the Peach Tree by Charlie Mary. I'm still not sure I'm pronouncing that right. It might be Charlie Mary. Um, this was a book about a little girl who had a twin sister. They were of African origin. The mother favored the one sister and disliked to the point of uh, mistreating the other sister uh, so the sister called Faith got all the love and attention got all the pretty dresses was taken to church every Sunday by the grandmother and Faith and Hope was the other twin who was denied everything was told she was uh, overweight was um, basically blamed for any problems that happened and so she would go sit under the peach tree to listen to the uh, singers in the church. It is a very spiritual book. I I wanted to like it more, but it just it felt so preachy at points, and it felt so kind of unrealistic at other points. Like I I, I just I kind of. Like, I was into the book at the beginning, and then it kind of lost me, and then by the end, I was just like, I know what the author wanted me to take away from it, but I just, I felt like it wasn't a high enough quality for any takeaways, and I, I just, I really question this book, like, as far as, um, how realistic it could be because it was supposed to be like historical realism and then or not even realism or historic sorry contemporary realism but it uh at first I thought it was historical realism because it didn't uh ground the time in the beginning part of the book and it wasn't until it mentioned a, I think it was Mariah Carey and going to a concert that I realized that this was supposed to be more modern time so that was another problem I had and then there were like typos as well throughout the book and so I, I, I definitely will probably unhaul that. I don't re necessarily recommend it as far as spiritual books go. It just wasn't really um, good enough. And then as far as contemporary realism, I just didn't think it was very realistic. So uh, that I just gave three stars, which again, I think I was being generous. Because I, 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 I got the impression it was a younger author who was really trying um, it just didn't work for me. Um, so then I finally finished the Blue Fairy book. These are a series of uh, fairy tales all compiled uh, by Andrew Lang. Um, it has Beauty and the Beast in it, which I love the original fairy tale because the Disney version is uh, quite different in the fairy tale. She dreams of the prince and so, and the prince in her dreams tells Beauty to not trust her eyes. So when the beast is revealed to be the prince, she isn't, it isn't like they're meeting for the first time, like it is in the movie. So uh, I, I really enjoyed that. There were some stories in here I had never read before, like the, I think it was called The Big Sheep. Let me see. And The White Cat. Um, were a couple stories I had never read before. And so I, I did really enjoy this. I'm definitely keeping it. Um, I know there are other uh, color fairy books. Um, I don't know that I'll read them because even though I loved fairy tales as a child, I just don't think I'm at that place right now in my life. So I did give this uh, four stars. Um, I think if I was younger, I would have really loved this. But now as an adult, there's so many other choices out there. I have much more access to other books, so I, I don't know that I'll read any of the other color books. Um, and then I read Purple Days by Sherry Shawhang. This uh, was a very odd book where it's like a f six high school friends during the Vietnam War. And um, so they start in high school and then a, one goes to the Navy and another goes to the Army. And th as um, they were drafted and the one that went to the Navy had a very different 
experience than the one that went to the army in Vietnam. Um, but they're like little um, short poems uh, from the different characters. Um, and uh, it definitely felt like you were in that time. It was a very odd take on a book. Um, I kind of wished at the beginning there had been an introduction to the different characters because I did get a bit confused about who was who. And, but I really enjoyed this book and I gave this four stars. So, uh, And then the last uh, chapter book I read was uh, After Alice by Gregory McGuire, a novel. Um, this is based on it's described as a story following Ada, Alice's friend who falls down after Alice into Wonderland, but that's not really an accurate description of the book because Ada's part was so small and I was so disappointed because her part I was really enjoying, but instead of the author focusing on Ada, he added other characters that I just didn't feel necessary. He also focused a lot on Alice's older sister Lydia and it just was very repetitive where Lydia's like, oh, I don't have to worry about Alice. Everything's fine, everything's fine. And it's just like, why are we focusing on this one character who is just having the same thought over and over again? And then Lydia was written as a teenager who was moody, but it didn't explain anything. Like, like it was an adult version of what a teenager is from the adult's perspective, as opposed to feeling like an actual teenager's character. So I... I, I wanted to like this book. I think if the author had focused on Ada and focused on what was happening with Ada, it would have been a good book, but instead he focused on all these other things that just were not that interesting. And then um, he would also spend whole chapters just talking. And it kind of felt like, you know, reading a book um, that was similar to somebody who just liked hearing their voice as they're talking. So I... I really didn't like this. I gave it three stars, which was just because the Ada part actually was decent. There also wasn't a lot of Wonderland in this, or um, even Mirrorland, because the second part is supposed to be Through the Looking Glass, but it's, it's so small. You just don't feel like you're in this land. You feel like you're in England most of the time. And so I don't really recommend this if you love Alice in Wonderland. If you like Books by Gregory Maguire. He also wrote Wicked. You might like it, but when I read Wicked, I wasn't really a fan of that one either. And then the last two, uh, actually the last book I read was City of Illusions uh, by Victor, Victoria Ying. And that was the second part of the City of Secrets. Uh, these are graphic novels. I really loved the first one. I felt it was uh, very steampunk-esque. It was very adventurous. It had a great mystery. The second one, um, my only disappointment was that I felt like this should have been a trilogy and instead of it was a duology. And then there wasn't as much of the steampunk vibe in this one as well. So I only scored this four stars um, as opposed to five stars that I gave City of Secrets. But I did really enjoy both of them. So those were the recent reads I've had. Uh, let me know in the comments what recent reads you've had. Like and subscribe if you're um, liking and subscribing would help me and I'd appreciate it. So thank you. Um, and until next time, have a lovely time reading. Bye!